the law of love. <laughs> Unforgiveness and bitterness blocks our access to God's grace. You can't walk in health when you are, fact, look at the word bitterness itself. What does it say? You can't have a sweet life. You are bitter against your mother-in-law, daddy-in-law, cousins. You can't live a sweet life. And healthy life is sweet. First John chapter 3 verse 14. Nothing opens you and I up to crisis, disaster, like offenses. Excessive anger, rage, malice. All those relatives, do away with them. Let the love of God overshadow those things. Let the love of God drown those things. You won't make progress when you are living in bitterness. It's, it, you know, uh, Priscilla said something last week that touched me. Allow He said, uh, bitterness and not forgiveness is like stabbing yourself and expecting the other person to die. You are stabbing yourself. You are not expecting. That's why the people you are thinking will die, they are doing well, but you are the one going down. And you might have all the justifications in this world for it, but it's a low life. You might have all the explanations. Do you know my uncle did? Do you know what that, that fellow minister did? You are just allow. You are, you are giving yourself reasons to remain in it. Holding people down is not freedom for you. Okay, so he says, we know that we have passed from what? Death to life. Now, that word death in this context is not just death. Whatever leads to death, sickness, disease, torments, depression, suicidal thoughts, crisis. We know we have passed from death to life because, because we do what? Love the brethren. He who does not love his brother abides in death. You expose yourself to things that will lead to death before your time. Verse 15. Whoever hates, so hatred, vengeance, evil intentions, Whoever hates his brother is a murderer. Not like a murderer. It's a murderer. And you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding. Eternal life is the life of God. It's the anointing. It's the power of God. When that is not flowing in your life, any other thing will prevail. Check families that hold every other board, every other person. They complain about their neighbor, about the church, about everybody. Check them. They hardly prosper because they are blocking their own blessings. It's not God. The blessings re released cannot get to them. It's like when wires short circuit. You understand? It's been supplied, but you can't walk, you can't enjoy it because something is blocking it. And the moment you pull out that strife, that bitterness. The flow of electricity is there and then your life begins to function well. I believe that strife is an attack. So when it comes and it's trying to take over your life, settle down and deal with it. How do you deal with it? Pray for the person if you can. Beyond your feelings, pray for them. Mention their names and prayers. Sometimes it's a confession you also use. That Lord, thank you because you've given me grace to forgive. And right now, I stand before you by the strength of the Holy Spirit. I declare that I forgive so and so. I release them. I wish them well. And I thank you because I'm made whole. And you say it. You say it. Other times, you might need to engage the person in a conversation. But it's not everybody we will see to talk to, isn't it? It's not everybody. But if you can get it, get the person and, and have holy conversation. This happened. I wasn't give them an opportunity to explain sometimes it can be resolved but if you are waiting for the whole world to apologize before you forgive you will stay in rot for a long time go beyond that, leave the person many people operate to the level of their understanding 